this is the official making baby water. Welcome back YouTube. If you guys don't know what this is, this is uh, the shock part of the Megan coilover set. We have the two rears are leaking in this car. So she bought two new ones and we're going to swap them out. First thing we need to do, obviously, to get to the top of the struts is pop the hood and put this up. Now we're going to take a 10 millimeter and we're going to remove these three bolts, two down here and one up here on both sides. Now remove these side panels on both sides. I'm gonna take a 14 millimeter socket and I'm just gonna break them loose. I'm not taking these off yet. Now we're gonna break the lug nuts loose, jack it up and remove the wheel. Inside of here is um, put a five millimeter Allen key in the center to hold the sway bar end link and then a 14 millimeter ratcheting wrench to remove the nut. Next, <coughs> we're going to loosen the two bolts that connect the coil over to the spindle. Take a pair of pliers and pull the clip out for the brake line so you can disconnect the brake line from the strut. In order to get this to come out through the slot, we need to take the caliper off. So to get the caliper off, first you have to take the bracket for the, man, it's raining hard. You need to take the bracket off for the e-brake. So that's a 14 millimeter. Cause if you try to take it off right now, this, it hits the wheel well over here. Last thing we need to do now is just remove this bolt. Now that everything's loose and apart down below, take your 14 and we're gonna take off these three nuts on top. So here's the shock all out. Um, you're gonna wanna just sort of clean everything off at least a decent amount. Um, anyways, the girl that owns this didn't have the tools. Uh, luckily I had a set of tools from some K-Sport coilovers and it looks like this will work just as good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen, we're gonna loosen the spring, which is pretty goddamn tight. So I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit, but more or less I'm gonna loosen this one and loosen these two. That'll take the pressure off the top. And um, then we can take this apart. So we're gonna measure from the top of the coil mount to the bottom in order to get the distance this needs to be threaded into the bottom here. And we're at 17 and three quarter to the bottom of the silver. So after twisting and twisting for years and years to get this old one out, uh, now I have to thread on all of these pieces in order to get the spring set. And then once the spring's set, I can match the length I measured before and set this distance. First thing you wanna do to put it back together you want to put the, the mount, the top hat, back on first with a gap everywhere in here. Then you want to just by hand tighten this bottom ring until it touches. And you want to be able to still spin the spring by hand. Not easily, but it should be able to spin. If you can't spin it with two hands, this shit's too tight loosen it then once you get it that tight you're gonna hold the top one in place and then lock it together with the little one so it'd be 
something like this and you're gonna hold the top one and tighten it with the bottom one then spin this one up so you're gonna guarantee have this good and then you're gonna set your ride height so depending on how you want to have your car ride if you're putting them in for the first time with which if you are you're probably not watching this video but I just wanted to match the 17 and 3 quarters but this would be where you leave this loose until you set your ride height by jacking it up spinning this put the wheel back on lower it check it do it over and over until you get it right once you get it right then you tight you lock down this bottom one so have your buddy just hand put these on loosely while you're putting the coil over from the bottom and then on the bottom you just want to hold it and then put on that sway bar end link now we're gonna put the bottom bolt in you're gonna have to wiggle it just a little bit all right get that started and then this car came with a camber bolt on top so you can adjust rear camber um, so this will go in next all right next after you tighten the bolts here down put the caliper back on re put in this emergency brake bolt and then put that metal clip back on this brake line to secure it. Once you have that step done, you're gonna come up here with your 14 and you're gonna tighten these down. Now I know I'm gonna have to remove these two inner ones to put the bracing back, but just for now, to get this one locked down evenly, we are going to tighten all like to thank everybody for stopping by we're just gonna copy all that crap on the other side um, so it's not that big of a deal so hope this helped you guys if you're trying to rebuild your Megan racing coilovers and until next time wrench on